My name's Matika Little. I'm a queer Wiradjuri and Camilleroy woman. My pronouns are she, her, and I'd like to acknowledge that today we are on Gadigal land. I grew up in Wagga Wagga, which is in regional New South Wales. Both my parents are Indigenous, so that was something I got to be proud of from a really, really young age, um, which I think helped me a lot because, of course, having pale skin, there's a lot of people who question you on your culture and your identity. Recognising that you are different, particularly in a regional town where you're not surrounded by this diversity that you see in larger cities, is so scary. It was really frightening for me as a young person to be like, I don't see anyone else like me. And that just makes you feel so afraid and alone. And that's why I'm so passionate about representation and bringing queer Indigenous voices to light today. Coming Out Black is a podcast that I create and co-host with a dear friend of mine, Courtney Hagen. I was sick of there not being enough representation for people like myself. There was a lot of fear at the start, afraid that no one would care about what I had to say. Is anyone going to listen to this? Is it going to sound good enough? There were so many fears in my mind about why I shouldn't put it out there. So at the start, I was literally just recording on my phone. And now I have a six dollar microphone and we huddle around Thanks it and we record the podcast. The response has been incredibly positive. This podcast is such a great platform. Like I've had people come up to me and say, I've listened to every episode of the podcast and it's helped me so much. And that's incredible to know that it has done what I wanted the podcast to do, which was create community for people who didn't think they had one. Ultimately, I had to face that fear and remind myself why I was doing it in the first place. Like I wanted to create that space where queer Indigenous people could come together, share our stories, connect with one another and see that we're not alone. There's still a lot of discrimination that exists both for our queer community and our Indigenous community and there are a lot of fights that our communities can be fighting together. My hope for young queer Indigenous people today is that they also face their fears. They also stand up, take up space and say what I have to say matters.